Innovation is the essence of product design and could be your company's biggest competitive advantage. It requires creativity, agility, and the ability to churn through concepts as quickly as possible. Parametric surface modeling delivers on creativity and agility, but the process is time consuming, requires a rare level of expertise, and needs thorough planning. But subdivisional modeling, it's spontaneous, it requires minutes of training, and changes are visualized in real time. Available on any device with an internet connection and compatibility with your existing SOLIDWORKS workflows, this is a tool every product designer needs in their toolbox. Dan, the industrial designer, and Don, the mechanical engineer, are spearheading the concept design of the Nemo Submersible. Let's jump in on Dan and 3D Sculptor as he takes on the initial body concept. Every concept has a unique starting point. In this case, progress has already been made on the underlying frame assembly. These files were designed in SOLIDWORKS, and they're readily available for Dan to reference, right in his browser. Other concepts might start with a hand sketch. In X shape, neither is really necessary. Dan can begin transferring his vision for his Nemo body design directly from his head to a 3D shape. Subdivisional modeling gets its name from the loops of edges and vertices that surround the shape. The more there are, the more control. But just like a spline in SOLIDWORKS, it's better to start with less than more. The main user input is the on-screen manipulator called the robot. The shape is always edited with respect to its position, so Dan can move it to the left edge to keep that side stationary. Pushing and pulling the geometry is the main interaction in sub-D modeling. The robot can be used to translate, rotate, and scale the shape. The other half of the battle is selecting the geometry. Fortunately, in X-Shape, there are plenty of shortcuts. For example, Dan can shift-select the two faces to select those and the entire loop of faces in between. By default, all faces have a C2 level of curvature continuity, ideal for any industry of product design. However, select edges can be creased at any time to enhance the style. In this case, by dragging the slider, Dan can adjust the smoothness factor applied to this crease. Because X-Shape runs in a browser, it's most fun to design on a tablet. Dan can swipe his pen across the screen to influence the top row of vertices. Switching to the other orthogonal views makes it easy to size, shape, and position this first sub-D body right where it needs to be. The robot can also be repositioned onto an edge. This way, Dan can precisely control the direction of his translation. Precision can be applied to the length of his translation too. An on-screen ruler appears to snap to an exact dimension. Now that one side is done, Dan's ready to move on to the hood. To add more material, he can slap on a virtual chunk of clay using the extrude command. After pulling some faces over the center plane, that plane can be used to apply symmetry. As long as the symmetry option is active, all modifications will be replicated from side to side. To ensure the hood of the Nemo is perfectly flat, Dan can align the entities to align. Moving its endpoints will translate and scale the entities while snapping them to a perfectly horizontal orientation. Now that the general shape has been roughed out, Dan can focus on a few finishing touches before sending this out for review. Here, he'll add two horizontal loops to the midsection to make way for the hole that will travel through it. Because loops are a common command, they're easily accessible from the context toolbar, a user interface feature every SOLIDWORKS user can appreciate. This vertical loop will provide a boundary to the hole in the back, as well as a scoop on the bottom. To create the hole, the extrude tool can be accessed from the context toolbar while two opposing faces are selected. In minutes, Dan has enough detail to share his concept with the rest of the team. The sub-D modeling capabilities in X-Shape provide the fastest way to conceptualize in 3D. And considering the amount of information communicated by a single 3D model, it's arguably faster than sketching on paper. But what about SOLIDWORKS? What happens when the reference frame assembly is modified? Let's check in with Don as he continues to make progress with SOLIDWORKS desktop connected to the 3D Experience platform. 
All of the Nemo design team's data on the cloud is accessible directly in the SOLIDWORKS task pane. To ensure Don's changes aren't overridden by another collaborator, he can reserve the files he plans to modify. Searching through their entire database takes seconds before he finds the components he's looking for. Then all it takes to add them to his assembly is a simple drag and drop. After adding the propulsion and the hatch assemblies, he's ready to save his changes. Just like that, his modifications are securely stored to the cloud, accessible to anyone with proper permissions anywhere in the world. Curious about Dan's progress, he can perform another search for the body design. Even though it was designed in X shape, Don can drag it right into his SOLIDWORKS assembly to do a quick visual check on how his recent additions might influence Dan's design. By activating a preview in 3D Play, Don can sketch some annotations to indicate the adjustments needed to account for his newly added components. Then, he can post them directly to their private design team community for Dan to see. Even though Dan still has some work to do, it's not too soon for Don to add some SOLIDWORKS features to the body. X-Shape Geometry comes in as a flawless, watertight solid ready for extrudes, shells, ribs, and any other features necessary to prepare this product for manufacturing. The 3D Experience platform unlocks many new capabilities in applications like X-Shape, and they're all capable of collaborating with SOLIDWORKS. The best part is they enable hybrid workflows, allowing you to stay in sync while working concurrently. Designing an X-Shape can go far beyond the concept stage. Let's drop back in on Dan as he revises and refines the final body shape to the highest level of precision. As Dan's working in X-Shape, he receives a notification for Don's post. By clicking it, he's taken directly to their community where he can review the proposed changes and let Don know he's on it. A quick refresh to the frame assembly, and it's up to date with Don's latest design. Of course, the exact same assembly structure that exists in SOLIDWORKS is visible in X-Shape, so Dan can start strategizing about his changes. To keep the design tree organized, Dan creates an ordered geometrical set to house his reference sketches. By converting the outer diameter of the hatch opening, he'll have a clear view of the edge he'll need to blend the opening of the hood to. Rather than adding a loop of vertices surrounding the entire perimeter of the body, Dan can add a localized group of entities with the subdivide command. Now we can select the new loop of edges on the hood and the corresponding edge on the hatch. Magically, the align to curve command perfectly aligns Dan's X-shaped geometry to Don's SOLIDWORKS assembly. Just like style splines in SOLIDWORKS help to parametrically control splines, the cage view in X-Shape reveals the underlying constraints driving the curved surfaces, making it apparent when edges are out of alignment. After selecting the vertices in sequence, Dan can easily align them to each other. The side view reveals that the front faces of the hood are also out of alignment. Once selected, they can be made coincident to each other from the context toolbar, just like mates in SOLIDWORKS. To hone in the angle of the front faces, Dan can select the entities and reposition the robot to the pivot point. If this was a face that required a specific draft angle, Dan could snap to the on-screen protractor to dial it in perfectly. To leave the coincident faces undisturbed, Dan can once again reposition the robot accordingly. Dragging the webbing of the robot will ensure his translations maintain the coplanar alignment of the faces. After a few more adjustments to the hood, Dan is ready to tackle the pathways on the side of the design for the thrusters. He'll prepare a set for each one, not just for organization, but also to sever their dependency on the order they exist within the design tree. Using the cylinder shape and automatically creasing each end will make it easy for Dan to locate the first pathway in relation to the vertical thruster. In a similar fashion, Dan duplicates the process of modeling the negative space required for the horizontal thruster. There are now three separate solid bodies that can be combined to form the final shape. Similar to SOLIDWORKS, the combined feature has multiple options for Boolean operations. The subtraction looks good, but Dan notices that the intersection between the vertical and the horizontal pathways is a little bit too high. 
To remedy this, Dan will need to lower the vertical pathway. Because each body was placed in a separate set, Dan's still able to see the horizontal pathway even though it exists below the vertical pathway in the design tree. This allows Dan to predictably position the vertical pathway in relation to the horizontal pathway with no trial and error. That looks perfect. Taking one final look at the overall shape, it appears Dan's job is complete. Jumping back to SolidWorks, the model has been updated and Don has made further progress on the parametric features. He's even split the body into multiple components using the master modeling technique. It won't be long before this project is wrapped up. X-Shape provides an unlimited amount of design freedom and flexibility, but you can use it to design much more than a concept. When necessary, it's capable of precision fit for any downstream operation. The Sub-D modeling environment is one that every product designer can benefit from. There's no installation required, almost no training is necessary, there's no faster way to model complex geometry, and there's certainly no reason not to expand your design capabilities with this great new tool.